Welcome. This is a short video on how to create a funnel plot and review manager. Uh, last week we talked about forest plots, so you have the data already entered, and it's just a couple of steps to get through the process of getting a funnel plot as well as a forest plot. So first click on open, open up your file wherever you saved it. I'm canceling out of this because mine's already open, just to remind you, go back to that file and you should open to a screen that looks like this. Um, in this case, I've highlighted figures, and on the right side, figures appears. So if I highlight on data analysis, it takes me to a different position. And then I'm going to add a figure. And in this case, we're going to start with the funnel plot. Click on Next. And in this case, we select the only, so the listing of the outcomes usually appears here. There is only one option, so that's the data that you entered last week, unless you entered multiple different comparisons. In that case, you'll have to select one for your funnel plot. Now here I've selected mean differences and somnia clinical measures because that's the outcome that we I entered last week, and some of you will have used that example if you weren't able to do a meta-analysis. And I'm going to click on next so you can see the other options. You can change your caption here. So this is the caption that's going to appear below your funnel plot as your figure. And then click on finish. And so you're going to see figure one appear. And if you click on under figures on the left side of your screen, you see figure one appear there as well. So we're going to go back up to the figures. So there we are. And the next step is we're going to add another figure below that. And this is just to say uh, the forest plot you've created. We can put this under the fit figure section as well, even though it's already in the data and analysis part. And click on next. Again, we have to select our outcome. Click on next. We have an opportunity to write a new caption. And then click on finish. So now, we don't see it on the right screen immediately, but here it appears. Um, when we click on figures, on the left screen, we see figure one and figure two. Now we might want a different order of that, just because usually the forest plot appears before the funnel plot does. So if you highlight figure one and you right click on it, it allows you to do all of these things. You can edit it, you can delete it or you can simply move it down. So figure one becomes figure two. Now I'm highlighting figure one and just as we did before, when you go into that screen, you can do the copy function and copy that right into your MS Word document. Same thing goes for figure two. Click on figure two. Again, on the top of the screen in this case, you have a save button for the figure or you can simply copy it. So that's it. That's your funnel plot. That's your forest plot. Copy and paste your funnel plot and that's your assignment completed for this week. Thank you.